Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at some scary Spongebob broadcasts that have um, been on the internet for a little while now. Um, let's just get right into this. Oh hey hey, but uh, before you go, uh, check the description. There will be a link to my Wattpad profile. There you will find the latest uh Wattpad stories created by me. There's not going to be content on there every day, but I guarantee what will be on there will be epic, will be new, and will be just uh ultimately different than anything you'll find on here. So click the link, create a Wattpad profile. It's simple, it's easy, and it's free. And give the story a read, give it a little star, and then follow me. That's important. That's an important one. Uh, follow me and uh, yeah, just, just just support me. That's all I'm asking. Okay, so this is Corrupted SpongeBob Broadcasts Are Terrifying. It is produced by Wow Man. Uh, well, he is actually doing a reaction to this, I believe. Uh, he didn't he didn't make them, uh, as far as I know of. But let's just let's just get right into it. Hey everyone, it's Wildman. So in today's installment, I wanted to share with you guys something that I found while I was scrolling YouTube around, uh, I don't know, like 2 in the morning, as you do. So We've a few nights ago, that. I found myself stumbling upon this particular clip from an aired version of SpongeBob SquarePants, a video titled July 25th, 2005. Bye, SpongeBob. However, you know, upon watching this clip, what followed was this very distorted version of what was supposed to be just another installment in the first- If any of you have seen, like, any any uh, creepy or disturbing broadcasts like this, like, just randomly on your television or uh, on, like, YouTube, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, tell me, tell me, like, the name of it and I'll, I'll search for it and I'll do a video on that. It'll be, in it'll be interesting, I promise that. The first clip that I wanted to show you guys is a video called Weird Spongebob TV Glitch. And well, the video is just that. No! TV, as soon as this glitch started to happen, the description reading, This was a major glitch on Spongebob, so I had to get to my camera as fast as I could and film it. The video was uploaded onto YouTube back in 2008. Was this the episode where they were trying the to episode candy? in question that's corrupted is one of the most iconic episodes in the show chocolate with nuts right. the episode from season three where spongebob and patrick are selling chocolate bars in hopes of achieving the fancy lifestyle but in this version of, of the airing you can barely make out what the characters are even saying the airing is just completely glitched out but perhaps the creepiest part about this entire airing is that around halfway through the video, you can see the fish character glitching behind Patrick. Oh, that's crazy. I've been trying to catch you boy. However, now as to whether or not this is fake or not, I honestly don't see why it wouldn't be. Because this glitched airing is definitely something that could have happened on TV especially considering that it was 2008 and yeah, especially a little bit if you of had, bad like, weather those older could easily cause too. airings to do glitches like this. So like, I remember I used to have a, like a, 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 well, a TV shaped like a cube, okay? But it was like, it wasn't, like, the TV I have now is like a, a, a flat screen, but before I used to have a cube TV. I know, I was, I was old, guys. We were, we were so poor. I know we weren't. We really, I don't think we were. So while this is the only documentation of this supposed glitched airing, thousands of people and or children could have very easily seen this distorted broadcast. Also something that someone pointed out is that this corrupted broadcast was definitely something that happened on Nickelodeon's end, because when this video is glitching out, the Nickelodeon logo is fine. So it was definitely something wrong with Nickelodeon's broadcasting. So if I was willing to wager whether or not this was real or not, I think I would say that it was. This next corrupted video that I wanted to show you guys is a video simply titled 
broadcast glitch number three. Within it, it shows us one of those in-between episode clips that Nickelodeon was would use back in the day. Oh, that little yeah, segment yeah, yeah. that Nickelodeon would use for various characters to be put on screen promoting Nickelodeon. Typically, this would happen right before episodes would come back from commercial breaks. In this one, it's of SpongeBob blowing a bubble that has Nickelodeon written on it. That is until SpongeBob inhales the bubble and implodes. Now usually this would be kind of funny, um, and it still kind of is, but there's this very dark undertone when Spongebob inhales the bubble in this version. Like if the tape didn't glitch out, Spongebob might have actually exploded. Which again wouldn't be anything crazy, I mean we've seen Spongebob explode before. <laughs> The video continues and eventually crashes, and out from the blank screen emerge two figures, Spongebob and Patrick, void of all color, emerging from the darkness in this very grim fashion. I can't remember your face. Then switching back to the regular uh, scheduled uh. programming, Nuh uh no 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 dude it's saturday morning i can't be being paranoid already oh god that's <laughs> oh no i am creeped out right now i oh i'm alone in my house it's it's like it's it's saturday morning and i'm all i'm already paranoid and this is just oh this is giving me goosebumps i no, I don't have any on my arms, but it's disturbing. Then switching back to the regular scheduled programming as if nothing happened. Hell no, dude. Don't go away. Uh, uh. Will be right back. Now this broadcast is obviously not real, it's fake. Uh, as oh. I'm pretty sure this would make the news if this ever actually- Imagine if it was real though! Imagine! No, dude! Oh, that's creepy as hell. Just look at that. What is that? That like that strikes fear into my body. That rattles me to my core. That is. I. Oh, I hate that. No, I got to get it off my screen. Get it. Uh, aired, but it's still a very creepy thoughts because, yes. you know, as we've discussed on the channel before, broadcasts back in the day were weren't super difficult to hack because if you had the right amount of skill and expertise. You really could just hijack a broadcast, like we saw in the Max Headroom incident, something that shocked the world. So something like this actually happening back in the day, wouldn't it be too out of the question? Even though this is fake, something like this was definitely possible. Alright, so diving into this next one, this video is what made me dive into this rabbit hole in the first place. Mainly because I couldn't tell whether or not this was a real broadcast or not. The video is called July 25th, 2005, and this one actually does have a story well, behind it. A few months, but... Because this video that we're going to be looking at was seen by someone who thinks they are one of the only people to have seen it when it originally aired. The video begins with Patrick greeting Spongebob as he enters the Krusty Krab, but Spongebob falls onto the floor, unable to get up, glitching out in this very creepy manner, until eventually the tape glitches out and Spongebob is left on the ground once again, but this That's time creepy. in the kitchen. Why do I feel like I've seen this before? Upon one more glitch, Spongebob is with Gary in a shoe. Something that was in the original episode, but there is something off here. Because the music that plays is very eerie, and not what played in the original episode. Glitching so much that the tape finally cuts out. And after watching this disturbing airing, the person claiming to have seen this originally says the following. I was confused if this was even a real episode or just some glitch. I tried shutting it off and turning it back on, 
but the episode stayed the same. I decided to turn off the TV and went to bed. The next morning, I went and turned on the TV and saw that everything was back to normal. To this day, I still have so many questions about the trip of an episode. Was okay, I having hang a bad on a dream? minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I know drug is like adult themes, but why is it centered? The, I have seen worse on YouTube than the word drug. Why is it sent- Was the TV hijacked? To this day, I still don't know what the heck was going on at the time. It's been a couple years since the incident, and I still don't have any answers. Even after searching through the internet for hours on end, to this day, no one knows this incident occurred, or who, or what caused it. But I am determined to find this out for myself. One of these days, this mystery will be solved. Now what is very creepy about this entire thing is that there are multiple recordings of this airing. One video even showcasing what happens after the video cuts out. It shows Gary staring at the clock, his eyes blacked out. And what is even stranger about this entire thing is that there is this reoccurring image in all of these uploads. A still image of Spongebob upside down, his arm twisted backwards. The whole thing is just very creepy. I found around five videos documenting this very strange instance that occurred on July 25th, 2005. But the question still remains, is any of this real? Or simply videos created to keep us up at night, wondering if any of these horrors actually occurred. Now I am here to debunk all of these videos because they are in fact all fake because all of these videos were based off of this one-off kind of creepypasta that was written back in 2005. It was one of the first Spongebob creepypastas and did gain a bit of traction. In it was a story describing exactly what we saw in these tapes. An excerpt from this creepypasta reads as follows. The episode that was on Your Shoes Are Untied slash Gary Takes a Bath, though I believed I missed part of the episode. I continued watching, but I noticed something odd. When Patrick said, hey, Spongebob, Spongebob wouldn't move. He wouldn't reply. He just stood there as the camera zoomed into his body. Then Patrick would repeat, Spongebob, but didn't change the zoomed in body of Spongebob. Then he would get up for a split second twice, which made it look like he was gasping for air. And from the story that was created, people began uploading videos inspired by this creepypasta in an effort to add realism to this already disturbing tale. The last one that I wanted to show you guys isn't real either. However, this video is so creepy that I did want to show you guys anyway. The video is called Bootleg Spongebob. The description reading, Got this tape from a closed children's hospital. Perhaps it was a hacked version of a Spongebob episode. Aside that, the original episode is dumped. Within the tape, we're shown a- Got it from a closed children's hospital. Did you ever maybe think why it was closed? Maybe they played this tape. Maybe some coincidental massacre went down after this tape was played. I don't know! That's possible! Clip from the episode Dumped, an episode where Gary decides to leave Spongebob because he begins to grow fond of Patrick. And in this scene that we're being shown, it's when Patrick is telling Spongebob that it's over between him and Gary, to which Spongebob begins to cry. However, in this version, that scene plays out very differently. Because as Spongebob begins to cry, his eyes become red, and his face disappears in this very disturbing way. No, oh, God! But before long, the video glitches out again, and we're shown what seems to be the internal oh, monologue God. of SpongeBob. Holy crap! No, 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 no! Get this image out of my face. I need a minute. I need a minute to just digest what happened. Holy crap, man. My hairs are sticking up. Every hair in my body is sticking up. It's standing straight up. If if, if I get up, this video this video's <laughs> this video's not coming out. Holy crap, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> that was genuinely terrifying.
I hated that. All right. I'm really, I'm really hesitating putting these headphones on because I know, I know worse stuff is going to come. So this video was obviously made by someone trying to make a creepy broadcast similar they to were. Red Mist. They were. Oh God! Word. But after watching this, it did make me start to wonder what other kinds of unused episodes were created at Nickelodeon. Because animators do tend to mess around while creating episodes, so it's probably not too far out of the question to assume that there are some pretty disturbing clips similar to this one no, that we'll dude, never I see. Ooh, that was uh, that was quite an experience. Um, <laughs> if you guys got scared with me, uh, please leave a comment and tell me which part of this video was your favorite and which part you got scared on. I got scared on basically all of them. Uh, so if you guys did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and uh, definitely comment down below. What was I want to know? What was your favorite part? Click the link. Check out my Wattpad stories. Uh, like I said, not there's not going to be new stuff every day, but the stuff that is going to be on there is going to be epic. I promise you that much. If you would just take a little time to check it out, just give me a follow and uh, just stay tuned. Oh, all right. I'll see you guys in the next one, guys. Goodbye.